good morning all welcome to raj informatica so before starting please subscribe my channel raj informatica hands on real time training in youtube and please comment and like my videos if you are liking and we'll start now and also you can you can see my website rajinformatica.com for uh, latest updates trainings and interview questions you can you can watch my website called rajinformatica.com okay today is our second live session of idmc or iacs batch 2 today is our second live session so in the last session uh, we have seen in the last session we have seen what is idmc so why it has renamed idmc what are there in idmc what is the difference between power center and uh, <clears throat> power center and uh, iacs and how to create a trial account how to work with a one mapping so all these things we have seen <clears throat> so everyone able to create everyone able to create a trial account in iacs are you able to yes so if you did not create it if you did not create so please create go through my uh, youtube video so you can search uh, uh, secure agent installation uh, by raj informatica secure agent installation <clears throat> by raj informatica you can you can say that so there is uh, i have i have shown you how to create a how to install iacs i have shown you here yes this yeah <clears throat> so let's do the mapping again okay first what we have to do so i am i'm coming there just wait so what is the first step open incognito mode open google chrome open incognito mode in incognito mode copy this url and paste it once you copy paste so it is asking username password while you are while you are giving while you are creating a trial account you could have got the gmail id and password so the same uh, gmail id and password you have to give it correct yes please so this is what you have to give here okay so once you given so it will log into idmc or iacs it will log in here so once you log in so if it is showing blank screen as blank screen or something you have to refresh it so as i told you when you log in it will show all this it will show all these uh, uh, services now we are dealing with informatica c informatica iacs cdi so if it is cdi means we need only three things data integration administrator monitor so you can right click data integration administrator monitor you have to right click and you have to you have to right click and you have to open it so this is data integration this is administration this is monitor correct please yes or no guys so you did all these things did you do all these things please everyone next once it is done the first step you have to do is go to administrator go to runtime environments the first thing you need to do go to administrator go to runtime environments so go to administrator i am an administrator informatica administrator runtime environments under runtime environments open this secure agent here you check all the server services are running for idmc cdi we require two integration services should have data integration server common integration component so these two are up these two are not up what you have to do select common integration here select common integration com components stop and then start start 
stop and start. Okay, then it is showing starting up. Same way, select the process server, stop, click on OK, and then process server start. So like this, you have to start. Did you understand how to start the services if they are not running? If they are if they are not running, did you understand this? Everyone? Yes, guys. So this is how you need to start the services after some time, after five to 10 minutes based on your internet speed. So these services will be up based on your internet speed. These services will be up, okay? So that is what we have seen in the last session. So you can refresh here. Once you refresh, it will show whether they are up and running. Okay, once it is done, next step is go to data integration, go to data integration, explore. Under explore, I created a new project. How I created a new project, click on new project and give the name. Once you click on new project, open the project. Here we have one folder called batch to evening. I will create one more folder you can create a folder batch to morning. Yes, please. Like this, I can create a folder. Yes, understanding everyone how to create a project and folder. Did you understand, please? How to create a project and folder? Everyone, please reply. Did you understand how to create a project and folder? Yes. Once you create a project and folder, open the click on double click on the folder. So you will enter into here and start doing the mapping. Start doing the mapping. So everyone, have you done the mapping? Which you have joined in the last sessions? Have you done the mapping? Yes, please. Okay. So now I'll show you how to create a mapping again. Let's take any source or any target, let's take any source. So open Oracle and select any source. So let's take a source called uh, uh, select staff from customers or employees or whatever. Select staff from employees, I have a table already. I have a table employees table already. Or uh, let's take uh, customers, what we have customers employees. Let's see what I have the tables. Um, so go to your source schema and select any customers. Yeah, I'll take locations. Select staff from locations. This is my this is my source table name. Locations are we already done, right? I'll take agents table. I'll send this agents table DDL DML. So I will send this agents table DDL DML. Yes, please. I have it already. So I have agents td tables ddm ddl dml you can take this table and you can execute in source you can execute in source yes please so take this agents table execute in source schema okay so now how many records in my source table i have 40 records in my source table now, based on the source table columns, I want to create a target table with the same columns. How to create? How to create a target table based on the source table? So come to target schema and write a create table statement. Create table, agents underscore TGT, create table, agents underscore TGT, as select star from OTSRC dev1, let me go to dev1, OTSRC dev1, because we are doing in OTSRC dev1, right? Let me close this. Let me close this. So we are using OTSRC dev1 schema, correct? So take OTSRC dev1 schema. Yeah, this is my OTSRC dev1 schema. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Now open OTTG dev1 schema. OTTG dev1. So this is my OTTG dev1. Not this. 
I need OTTGT dev one. Okay, where it is here. So here I want what? I want to create a target table. So based on source table, I want to create a target table. How to write? Create table agents underscore TGT as select star from agents. I want only structure. I want only structure of the table. I don't want data. What to do? Where one equal to one. Okay. Sorry. Where one equal to two. Yes, please. Where one equal to two. So if I want to create a table, a new table called agents TGT, which is there in OT SRC Dev1, correct? I want to create a agents target table. Based on the table which is present in agents, only structure I want, where one equal to two. So if you see, now agents TGT is created. If you see agents TGT, I have zero records. So it has created with the same structure, correct? I have created with the same structure. Yes, please. Understanding, everyone? Are you clear, please? Okay, once it is done, so if you see the mapping document, so this is my source. This is my source and this is my target. What is my source? What is my source? My source is, my source in which schema? It is in Oracle. It is in OT SRC Dev1 schema. What is the table name? Agents. Target is also in Oracle. My target schema is OT TGT Dev1. And target table name is Agents TGT. Now what I want, whatever they extract the data from Agents table, and load it to target table while loading. I want while loading. I want whose working area is London. Whose working area is equal to London? What I want. So I want to give a condition. Working area is equal to London. Yes, please. This is what I need. Understanding everyone. I want to extract the 14 records from here. And while transforming. I should take only where working area equal to London. So that should load it to target. This is my mapping. Did you understand the mapping requirement? Did you understand the mapping requirement? Okay. Once it is done, what is the first step you need to do? You have to go to IDMC, administrator. You see now, refresh status. All are up and running now. Is all services up and running? Let me change this. Yeah. So is my all services up and running? Yes. These are all, all are up and running. Okay. Now, first you could have created the connections, correct? You could have created the connections. So go to connections. Go to connections. If you see the connections, in the last session, we already created a connection for source and target, correct? Yes, please. We already created a source and target connections in last session. Did everyone create? Did everyone create source and target connections? Yes. Now, once you create a source and target connection, if you did not create, go to my session one video and watch it. Go to my session one video and watch it, how to create the connections. So directly I'm doing the mapping. <clears throat> Go to data integration. Click on plus new. See, if you are not seeing anything here, so it is, it is showing tasks, mappings, maplets. So go to mappings. Here there is a mapping, create. Once you create a mapping, it will show like this, correct? It will show like this. Yes, please. It is already having source and target. But when you do in power center, will the source and target comes? If you do, if you create a mapping in a power center, will it come automatically source and target? Everyone, please. If you do, if you create a mapping 
in power center what will happen if you create a mapping in power center let me connect i am showing you the difference between both if i show you the difference you will easily understand so suppose you are creating a mapping mapping create you have to give the name m underscore agents tgt one something so it will not give any source and target you have to drag it like this but here in iacs or idmc when you create a mapping it will give source transformation target transformation source transformation target transformation still these are not configured correct still these are not configured save it as i told you last session this is transformation palette this is mapping canvas this is properties window correct yes please this is transformation palette this is mapping canvas this is properties when you click on the empty space a blue border will appear and down properties will show mapping one it is showing rename the mapping m underscore agent stage correct rename the mapping and save it so mapping name will change see here the mapping name is m underscore agents so this is about and when you click on the, the blue border on for full mapping so the name is m underscore agents location is under idmc batch 2 project batch 2 morning i have done correct yes please understood everyone are you clear guys everyone are you clear please yes once it is done now how to edit the location if you have to edit the location you have to go to explore and select them select it and you have to create again you have to go to explore and you have to select whatever and you create the mapping again okay but here here also you can here click on it normally here you can you can do it but it is disabled here normally you can browse here also okay you can browse here also if it is enabled okay now now you have to configure the source and target how to configure source and target click on source the blue border is appear this is source transformation in power center when you drag source in power center suppose you are dragging a source in power center you are dragging a source which one customers you are dragging when you drag a source qualifier will come this is source source qualifier but in idmc or iacs there is no source qualifier concept source qualifier and source are there in the same source only yes please getting my point everyone are you clear guys source only so as i told you in the last session this properties window you can minimize it you can restore you can maximize yes please you can minimize or restore or maximize so now what i am doing i want to configure the source now in the down in the down click on source now it is showing connection source type connection and source type you can maximize and do it you can maximize and do it yes please connection just i am doing one mapping today again i am doing a mapping then we'll go to another one i am doing a mapping for 10 minutes then we'll go to new topic anyways you will see now select the source connection source connection source connection source type single object object name select when you select it when you select this it will show all the tables which are available in my schema what is the source table agents click on okay so my source is configured my source is configured so for the source transformation i selected a source object correct please so it will take some time because we are working on cloud environment sometimes it will slow if it is very slow you have to refresh it okay done 
keep keep saving it always keep saving it otherwise you will lose your work so save it and you can rename the source click on the source general here you can rename just you can give any name i am giving my source name as agents and click on the target so my source configuration is done click on the target we have many properties for the target click on target on the left side down and connection click on target connection click on target connection let it be the target type single object object name the pins object you need to select so the object agents underscore uh, tgt my target table name is agents underscore tgt yes please if you want to map few columns only what to do it we'll see later we'll see step by step first we'll deal with all the all columns then we'll deal with one column two columns also you can set how i'll tell you i'll tell you please wait so once you selected the target go to general in the name of the target you give as agents underscore tg agents underscore tg yes please this is what i have done and save it once i have done what i need to do now i want to create a filter so because i want to filter i want to use a filter condition this is filter condition i want only the records whose working area is random so what to do so you can drag the filter from the left side to middle you can drag the filter you can rename the filter if you want at the down fil underscore agent stage it is something you can rename it now you need to create a filter condition how to create a filter condition go to filter at the left side go to filter at the left side so there are two things simple advanced and completely parameterized let's take simple now what is the condition working area equal to london so when working area equal to london what you have to do is first i'll show you simple click on plus so in power center what i will do i'll drag the source i'll drag the target correct i will drag the target then i will create a filter transformation in power center correct in power center what i will do guys everyone are you able to hear me in power center what i will do i will drag the source target filter and i will send everything to filter in the filter double click properties open this and here what i will write i will write so which one it is locations correct my source is locations yes or no please is it agents only or oh, agents only yeah so let's take agents let's take agents table so take the agents table agents and agents tgt i'll drag it and then i will do filter correct i'll take filter so send everything to filter and in the filter what i will write i will write working area equal to london correct that is what i do working area equal to london in the single quote separate this is what i do in power center correct now in a simple condition in iscs i want to write the same thing go to iscs go to iscs click on filter and in the left side filter click on plus simple we'll see first click on plus when you click on plus a filter condition will show here you select the column which column the column name is working area equal to normally because this is a string you need to write in single quotes but in iscs don't write in single quotes in idmc do not write in single quotes understanding why i will show you i am writing just london yes please i am writing without single quotes don't write in single quote please in power center we should write in single quotes correct in power center we should write in single quotes but in iscs do not write in single quotes why because it will automatically take single quotes if you go to advanced and see here is it taken single quotes already 
Is it taken single quotes, please? Everyone? So while you are dealing with strings, if you are using simple, if you are using a simple filter condition, do not use single quotes. Do not use single quotes. Suppose you don't want to use this. You don't want to use. Okay. Yes, please. Go to advanced. You don't want to use simple. Always use advanced better. Advanced filter condition is better than simple. You can use simple also. Click on plus. And here select the column. Select the column. Okay. And you can write it without the single quotes. Yes, please. So what to do? I'll go to advanced. Define filter condition. In the filter condition, I'll write working area equal to here you have to write single quotes. So in the simple filter condition, you should not write single quotes. But in advanced, you should write. Understood? In advanced, in sim simple condition, you cannot validate. Simple condition, you cannot validate. Okay? So you, have, you can validate only advanced condition. Working area equal to London. Whatever the case, the same case. Smaller, small, capital is capital. Working area equal to London. Validate. Successfully. Click on OK. And now save. Yes, please. Understood, everyone? So what I have done now, what I have done, I just created a mapping and I dragged the filter. If you see the source, first source transformation, I selected agents as a source and these are the fields in source. These are the fields in source, correct? Same way. Click on the filter. We have general filter condition we given and incoming fields. So whatever the fields are there in source, all the fields will come to filter, correct? All the fields will come to filter. Yes or no, please? Yes, guys. Yeah. So that is why incoming fields, where these are coming from? Agents table. These columns are whatever the columns in source, all the columns are coming to filter. All the columns are coming to filter. Understood? Everyone? So I have done the mapping, but still my mapping is invalid. I have done, I have selected the source, target, filter, but still my mapping is invalid. What is the reason how to check? Why mapping is invalid? How to check? Are you seeing here right option? There is one right option called validation, correct? I want to check. Why this is invalid? My mapping is showing as invalid. I want to check why this is invalid. What to do in that case? Click on the try symbol. Click on the right symbol. And here it will show. Click on this. Field mapping must contain at least one mapped field. That means you have to do the field mapping. You have to do the field mapping. So what is field mapping? Now this mapping is, is equal to the same thing. We dragged the source. We dragged the target. We created a filter. Field mapping means you need to map from filter to target, correct? We need to map from filter to target. This is called field mapping. Is this called field mapping, guys? Yes, please. So how to do this in IACS? In IACS or IDMC, it is already connected. Again, you need to do the field mapping. How to do? Select the target. Come to field mapping. Are you seeing field mapping? Select the target. Come to field mapping. In the field mapping, you see these are incoming fields from filter. These are target fields. Now, from filter to target, you need to connect. How to connect? Like this, you need to connect one by one. You need to connect one by one. Or there is an easiest way. Or there is an easiest way. What is the easiest way? Under this auto map, select smart map. When you select smart map, it will automatically connect the columns to columns. Understood? Everyone? So you have to do the field mapping from filter to target. Otherwise, mapping will become invalid. 
you have to drag you have to create a mapping you have to drag the filter give the filter condition at last so this is general target properties general these are incoming fields coming from agents to filter filter to target and these are target properties and these are target fields this is field mapping please understand the difference incoming fields means what whatever they are in source columns those columns are came to filter came to target correct those are called incoming fields yes or no please correct guys did you understand what are incoming fields see here you cannot see like this in idmc you cannot see every column like this this one agent code agent code agent name to agent name column to column you cannot see so that is why they give a different approach in idmc 90% they made simplified 10% they made complex only 10% they made complex but if you practice that will be easy so in source we have only fields because source will not be having any incoming fields correct do source have any incoming fields do source have any incoming fields no because source is a starting point source will give the columns to filter in this mapping source is giving the fields to filter in the filter these are the incoming fields from source now filter is giving the columns to target in the target these are the incoming fields where it is origin origin is from source to filter to target apart from that under target these are the fields we have correct target is having a fields these are the fields we have the same fields we have here now only thing you need to do go to field mapping and uh, select smart map and save once it is done this mapping become valid correct is the mapping is valid is the mapping is valid please yes so as i told you in the last session in power center if you compare power center and iacs in power center we will call mapping iacs or idmc in power center we call it as mapping in iacs also we will call it as mapping in power center we we will call it as session correct in idmc also we will call it as what we will call it as mapping task what is that mapping configuration task mapping configuration task or also called mapping task also called mct also called mct and in power center we have a name called workflow but in idmc we have a name called task flow <clears throat> now coming to power center can we run a mapping without creating a session workflow can we run a mapping without creating session workflow no you cannot but you can run a mapping in iacs or idmc you can create a, you can run a mapping can you run a session without creating a power center workflow no but here yes you can run a mapping you can run a mapping configuration task you can run a task flow also but for every mapping we will create only these two we will create only mapping and mapping configuration task we will not create all we will not create a task flow task flow will be used for different purpose in power center we will create a mapping first then session then workflow correct but in idmc in real time we will create a mapping and mapping configuration task only we will not create a task flow understood task flow is used for different purpose whenever the topic comes i will tell at the time are you clear please everyone understood see now once my mapping is done in idmc are you seeing a run option are you seeing a run option yes yes you can run but normally we will not 
will not run. Normally, will not run. We need to create a MCT in real time. We will always create a mapping and MCT. Mapping will never run. If you want to quickly run, if you want to quickly run without, without giving any properties, you can run. You can run. Yes, please. Understanding? One second. Just wait, please. One second. Yeah, okay. Yes, guys. So now what I will do, I created a mapping. Because see, there is a mapping, we have a run button already. Then MCT also a run button. Why you want MCT? Because MCT having many properties. In session, we have properties. Suppose what I will do, once I create a mapping, I will copy the mapping name. I will go to workflow manager. I will go to workflow manager. And I will create a session, correct? And I will create a session, yes or no, please? And I will select the mapping. Yes, guys. Then what I will do, there are many properties here, correct? We have properties, config object, components, all this I have. Yes or no, please? So same way, once I, for every mapping, we should create a mapping configuration task, correct? Once I create a mapping configuration task, once I create a mapping, you need to create a mapping configuration task. How to create? Go to new. Copy the mapping name first. Click on this. Copy the mapping name. Go to new. Go to new. Yes, please. In this, we have mapping task. Create. Here, you select mct underscore write it. mct underscore m underscore agents and location it is under so will data flow from source to target if you run the mapping yes data will also flow if you run the mapping data will flow from source to target but we have many properties available in mct that's why we will always create a mct there are many useful properties available in mct like in session correct so i want to create my mct where under this location, runtime environment, select your secure agent, select your mapping. What is the mapping name? M underscore agents TGP. Click on select. Click on next. See here. Do we see properties, schedule details, email notifications, advanced properties? Yes, please. And we have many things here. Are you seeing here? Advanced session properties. We have many things here. So we can make use of all these things. We can make use of all these things. We'll see those things later. Now click on finish. Click on finish. So my MCT is created. Understood guys, everyone? Is my MCT is created? Is my MCT is created, please? Please reply everyone. Is my MCT is created? Yes. See, you can close this if you want. You can close this. You can close this. Once I close in the data integration, explore, there is a home button. There is an explore button. In the explore button, you can see the mapping. You can click on mapping. Mapping will open in the left side and also here. Go to explore again. Click on MCT again. It will it'll show. Yes, miss. Understood how to create MCT? Did you understand how to create MCT, please? You want to show me again? You want to show me again how to create MCT? Let me delete and create for you. Once you create a mapping, once you create a mapping, copy the mapping name, go to new, tasks, mapping tasks. Go to new, tasks, mapping tasks, create. Here, you, re you give it mct underscore, rename it mct underscore m underscore agents, which should be created under this folder, this batch, this project, this folder. Select the runtime environment, that is secure agent. Select the mapping, which mapping m underscore agents. Click on next. Don't touch anything here. Under schedule, don't touch anything. Click on finish. That's it. Very simple, please. There is nothing complex here. 
Next, 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 next. That's it. Done, guys. Did I create the MCT? How to check whether MCT is valid or not? There is no option to check MCT valid or not. If mapping is valid, then only you can create MCT. If mapping is invalid, you cannot create a MCT. Understood? If mapping is valid, then only you can create MCT. If mapping is not valid, you cannot create a MCT. So now my MCT is created. Now you can run the MCT. Run. Once you run the MCT, started started MCT M underscore agents. View in my jobs. So either you can click on my jobs or go to monitor. Click on all jobs. Click on all jobs. When you click on all jobs, it will show the previous jobs which are already succeeded or failed. And it will show the current job it is running. Is it running? My current job is running. My current MCT is running. Yes, please. So refresh it. Once you refresh, it will it will show that two row two rows processes. Two rows processed. Click on this MCT underscore M underscore agents one. Click on this. Under this, here if you see agents is a source. Our IACS has read 14 records from source, unloaded two records to target, correct? Unloaded two records to target. How to check? Go to target. Go to target. Target schema and execute it. You might have got only, you might have got only who's, who's working, who's working areas under, correct? We got only these two records. This is how we should do the filter transmission. Understood? Did you understand how to do, how to create MCT, how to create a mapping, how to create a mapping and MCT? Did you understand, please? It is very simple, guys. If you know power center, IACS is very easy. Did you understand, please? Okay. So as a task, today you do these things. As a task, I'll give some tasks to you. So as a task, you do these things. Today you do these things. What are those? Tasks and filter. Take source as products. Targets as products TGT. And do this. Category D is greater than 1. And standard cost is less than 1000. Same way. Take the source countries. Target countries TGT. And country ID India, Australia, Japan. Wherever country it is, India, Australia, Japan, do those. Second mapping. Third mapping. Source is employees. Target is digit employees. I want whose employee is greater than 50 and job title is sales representative. And job title is sales representative. Yes, please. Clear, guys? Understood? Yes, please. Clear about it? Okay. Are you clear? Yeah. So these things you need to do it. Okay. Did you understand today's mapping, please? Did you understand today's mapping, everyone? Are you clear? Yes, please. Okay. Next. So we'll go to next transformation. The next transformation is I have a mapping document. I have one source called locations and four targets, location US, location UK TGT, location JP TGT, location others TGT, all are tables. I have one source table, four target tables. I have one source table, four target tables. How to do this? What I want, wherever country ID equal to UK, wherever country ID equal to US, it should go to US target. Wherever country ID equal to UK, it should go to UK target. Wherever country ID equal to JP, it should go to JP target. Other than above, it should go to others. This is what we have to do. Yes, please. In source, I have a table called locations. 
select star from locations select star from locations in this i have 23 records out of 23 i want to send it to four targets so wherever location id equal to us it should go to uk us tgt uk tgt jp tgt other stage correct so now first we will create these target tables we will create these target tables yes please as a first option okay there is no we have to write sql queries in filter conditions isis or informatica syntax informatica syntax only okay i'll tell you i'll tell you step by step please wait please wait see whatever it support whatever the filter transformation whatever the power center filter transformation support the same thing it will support in isis also whatever the filter transformation supports in power center the same thing isis also will support okay now i want these four target tables what are those locations us tgt so create one by one create table locations us tgt as select star from locations where one equal to two correct i am creating a target table from the source table yes or no please okay same way create table locations uk tgt as select star from otsrc dev one where one equal to two yes please create table locations jp tgt as select star from the same thing same way create table okay as select star from now create at a time so it created four targets correct it created four targets now what to do what is the first step what is the first step now i have one source four targets what is the first step i should do you can do truncate also all those things you can do it to show you from first i try to drop down recreate it to show you to show the people from start i drop and recreate so what is the first step i need to do i have one source four targets what is the first step i should do could you please reply anyone quickly guys i want to do a mapping what to do now i have source i have four targets what to do go to iacs go to idmc go to data integration go to explore so check where are you you are in batch 2 morning you are in idmc batch 2 morning so go to explore and check if it is not there you have to double click go to idmc go to batch 2 morning after that create new mapping create new create new mapping go to mapping mapping create once you create it created a mapping with one source transformation one target transformation we will call this as a source transformation this as a target transformation understood now what to do first rename the mapping click on the empty space rename the mapping m underscore locations tgt it should be created under idmc batch 2 project batch 2 morning folder save now configure source what is my source table name what is my source table name my source table name is my source table name is locations now configure the source click on the source rename the source first click on the source general locations click on the source in the left side connection source connection source connection source type single object only select select your source table name select your source called locations or you can search here also locations search then select your source now i need four targets correct how many targets we need four targets yes or no please we need four targets but we have only one target here 
we have only one target here, correct? What to do now? I need four targets. Are you seeing one target here? In the left side, are you seeing target? Target. This is second target. This is third target. This is fourth target. Drag and drop to mapping canvas. Understood? You can minimize this. Drag and drop to mapping canvas. Understood? Yes, please. You can delete them if you want. If you want, you can just click on it, press delete button. Click on it, press delete button. Click on it, press delete button. You can delete. How to, how to, I want four targets total. Drag the target, drag the target, and drag the target. Yes, please. First, what you need to do? You need to configure the targets, correct? First, you need to configure the targets. Yes or no, please? Source we configured, that is locations. Now we need to configure one by one targets. Okay. How to configure? Please see. Click on the target one, target. Rename the target first. What is the target table name? Locations US TGT. Locations US TGT. And also coming, come to target. Select the target connection. Select the target connection. Single object. Select the object. Select the object. And here, what you do? Select same target table name you search. You got it. Click on OK. One table is done. Next table, click on it. Rename the target table. Rename the target US TGT. So rename it. Come to target. Select that UK TGT. Connection OT TGT one. OT TGT one. Select. Okay. Locations UK TGT. Click on OK. Second target also done. Correct? Understanding? Next, third target. What is third, third, third target name? Locations JB TGT. Click on the third target. Rename the rename it first. Come to target in the left side. Target connection and target type as single object. Select and here locations JP DGT. Select. Now I need one more target. So that is last target. What is the target table name? Locations others TGT. Click on it. Go to general. Rename it. Go to target. Select the target. Understanding everyone? Are you clear, please? Click on OK. Save. Click on OK. Save. So, I have how many sources and targets? One source, four targets. One source, four targets. All are configured. Now, I need four filter conditions. Can I take four filter transformations? Can I take four filter transformations? Can I take four filters and do it? You can. First, we'll see about C. Now, I want to connect one source to four targets. I want to connect one source to four targets. How? Just drag it from here, like this. Can you drag like this? Can you drag like this, please? You can drag like this. And before going to router, I will do with filter first. Before going to router, I will do with filter. Now what you can do? You can select the filter here. Send the filter here. Drag it and drop it here. Drag it and drop it on the blue line. When you drag this, a blue line will appear. Drag it. Then drag it. So I created four filters, correct? One, two, three, four. Now, you need to write the condition. Number one, filter, advanced. Always go to advanced, better. Click on the filter. In the left side, down, click on the filter. Go to advanced, define filter condition. Here, what I want, country ID is equal to US. Country ID, add, just click on add. Country ID equal to US in the single quotes. Done. Next, second filter. Click on filter. Go to sim, go to advanced. Define filter condition. Country ID equal to UK. 
country id equal to uk next filter click on it go to filter advanced define filter condition define filter condition then here country id equal to jp next one is what next one is i want to write others how to write others click on the filter go to filter and uh, go to advanced can i write not in condition i can write like this not in of country id this is informatica syntax informatica not in syntax not in of country id comma us comma uk comma correct please jp if it is not us not jp not uk then then send this is a this is a informatica syntax of in not in of column name comma values click on okay save click on okay save still my mapping is invalid why still my mapping is invalid why i took the one source four targets and four filters my mapping is invalid why check here check here it will show one by one field mapping must contain for every target you need to do the field mapping how first click on first target click on the first target go to field mapping if you want you can maximize go to field mapping smart map yes guys save now minimize it first target is done click on second target maximize it field mapping smart map minimize it select the third target maximize it go to field mapping under this smart map and minimize it same way select the last target maximize it go to field mapping and here click on smart map minimize it and then save now it will become valid now it is become valid yes please is it valid now is it valid now yes guys if you do not give field mapping the mapping will not become valid the mapping will not become valid so now because i have four filters i took four i because i have four filter conditions i took four filter transformation now what is the disadvantage of taking four filters what is the disadvantage of taking four filters what is the disadvantage because here suppose for example i have 100 records 100 records will read from each filter these 100 records are read by 400 correct this filter will read 100 times this will filter will read 100 records this filter will read 100 records this filter will read incoming records will read each time when the filter calls that is why mapping performance will decrease mapping performance will decrease so to avoid to avoid so what happens if you have four filters the 100 records will come here 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 and here so each filter will read 100 records once so four filters four times so suppose i have 100 filter conditions if you write 100 filter transformations it will read 100 times correct yes please instead of taking four filters which transformation we can take instead of taking four filters which transformation we can take we can take a router transformation so what i'll do i'm deleting filters i'm deleting filters okay and just click on it press delete so i have source four targets take a router transformation where is the router you can you can see the left side are you seeing right take a router transformation so in in informatica how to do with router in power center suppose i have four targets suppose i have four targets like this in power center what you will do 
we will drag the source locations correct and targets you jp tgt so whatever i'll drag these four then take a router then take a router yes please take a router in the router you send this to here yes please we'll send this to here same way what i will do i will connect this to router what i have done from source qualifier i connected to router same way i connected locations to router yes please after that what you will do double click on router go to groups create four groups correct in power center you will create four groups yes or no please or three groups one is default group guys understanding everyone understanding please yes please everyone understanding clear about it just a second please wait just a second Yeah, okay. And you will create the conditions. Same way. How to create the groups? How to create the groups? If source qualifier is not there in ISUs, how can we increase the performance? Yeah, source qualifier is not there also. We can we can. But that is now topic is not our topic is not source qualifier. Our topic is now router. Whenever I tell about source, I will tell all those things. I'll tell about those things. Okay. Yes, please. So now, what I will do? I need to create four groups in router. How to create four groups? Click on this. Are you seeing plus symbol? Are you click? Are you seeing plus symbol here? In the router. Click on the plus symbol. So a default is came. Default is already there. When you click on plus symbol, a default group already there. So how to create it now? Click on the router. Are you seeing output groups under the down? Are you seeing output groups in the down? Click on it. A default group is already there. That side is showing default. Now there is a plus symbol here. Click on plus. New group has come. Plus new group has come. Plus new group has come. Correct. Default is at first. In power center, default is at last. Correct. In power center, default is at last. But in IDMC, default is at first. Default is at first. Yes, please. So now you can rename the groups. How to rename the groups? How to rename the groups? Double click on it. What is the name? US. First one is US. Double click. UK. Double click. JP. Correct. Like that, you can rename and then save. Sometimes it will not rename properly. Rename properly, please. Click on the router, output groups, new group, JP. Save. Yes, please. I created three groups and one default group. Now we need to give the filter condition. Where to give? Are you seeing configure? For US, configure. Click on go to advanced again, like same, go to advanced. Define filter condition. Country ID equal to US. Yes, please. Understanding everyone? Country ID equal to US. You write it. Validate. Done. Click on OK. Next, configure. Advanced. Define filter condition. Country ID equal to UK. Country ID equal to UK. Yes, please. Click on OK. OK. Configure. Advanced. Define filter condition. Country ID equal to JP. Yes, please. Country ID equal to JP. So I created three groups, three output groups in router. 
there is one output group already that is default group and i created three output groups us uk jp and configure them did you understand any doubts please did you understand any doubts are you clear everyone are you clear please yes okay once it is done what you have to do now please observe us target to us group to locations us tgt uk to locations uk tgt jp to locations jp tgt default to default to locations others tgt if location id is not equal to us not equal to uk not equal to jp by default it will go to default group and save still my mapping is invalid why okay it is valid because field mapping already done we already done the field mapping that is why it has automatically taken otherwise you have to do the field mapping default you don't you know to create if you know about power center the same thing please learn power center first then come to iscs please without power center you cannot learn iscs are you clear yes please default will not have any condition everyone knows about it everyone knows about it guys correct please everyone knows about it are you clear field mapping we already done when i do the filter i already done no need to do otherwise if you take the first time router you have to do the field mapping did you understand any doubts please any doubts in router it is same like power center there is no change at all are you feeling difficulty guys is it easy or difficult is it easy or difficult it is actually very easy compared to power center is is very easy yes please compared to power center is is very easy here also we don't we can't rename default try try to rename default you cannot rename default you cannot rename default you can rename the three output groups but you cannot rename default understood you cannot rename default yes please same once i done the mapping what should i do once i done the mapping what should i do what should i do click on this click on the mapping copy the mapping name go to new tasks mapping task create go to task mapping task create and task name mct mct underscore mapping name mct underscore mapping name you should not write a condition in default if you know power center power center people easily understand okay you, they can easily understand we will you cannot write a condition default by default if the other conditions are not matching if the other conditions are not matching it will go to default it will go to default understood are you clear please everyone understanding yes please just hold on a second i'll come back hold on a second you need to create a mapping configuration task so task name and secure agent select and mapping name select the mapping and here select your m underscore location strategy click on select so this mapping it is showing here it is showing the mapping here click on next finish click on next and finish so your mct is created see this is your mapping this is your mct mapping and mct are you clear please understood everyone are you clear guys so now come to mct and run the mct come to mct and run click on run yes please so once you run go to monitor and check go to monitor all jobs go to monitor all jobs refresh now see please when you refresh the job will appear here it is showing it is showing how many rows processed 
Okay, you keep refreshing it. So it is showing 23 rows processed. Now click on it. Click on MCTM locations TGT. Now if you see here, my source has read 23 records. It written two records in JP target, three records in UK target, four records in US target, 14 records in other targets. Now go to target and check. Select star from locations US TGT. Locations US TGT. Yes, please. Only US records will be there. Only US records. Select star from UK TGT. Only UK records will, go, will be there. Select star from JPTGT. Select star from JPTGT. Yes, please. Only JP records will be there. Select star from others TGT. Yes, please. Select star from others TGT. Okay. So if you see other than US UK JP, other than US UK JP records will be there. Understood? Are you clear, please? Did you understand? Now, instead of using, using multiple filters, you can use single router to improve the performance of mapping, correct? Now, in this, incoming records are reading only one time. Yes or no? In router transformation, incoming records are reading only one time. Correct, please? Everyone? Everyone understanding? Are you clear, guys? Did you understand, please? So this is called router transmission. So as a task, I have given task two here in the mapping document. I given task two. In the task two, take employees as a source and take six target tables. Based on these conditions, you need to load to six targets. Can you do it? Can you do this, please? Everyone, can you do it? Yes. Based on the six targets, you have to do it. Clear about it? Are you clear? So, this is about today's session. And next session will be on Wednesday. Next session will be on Wednesday. Wednesday, I am not sending any Zoom link. We will, we have a separate browser. We will send you step-by-step -step procedure to join Raj Informatica training from the from in the WhatsApp group. Whoever paid the full fee, full fee, they will get the material, they will get the website access, they will get the recording access. Okay. And we will add them in the WhatsApp group. So whoever not paid, so please, please pay as soon as possible. Next session will be on Wednesday. Next session is on Wednesday. Wednesday will take two hours. Today I took only one and a half hour because as it is a basics, I am going very slow. Once you are familiar with IACS, I can go fast. Okay. But I'll go slow. Don't worry. Okay. So is today's session is understandable? Everyone, is today's session is understandable? Yes, guys. Is my session is understandable today? Yes, please. Yes. So please, I'll share this video. I'll share this video to you. Okay. Uh, whichever the video I have shared, I'll share it to you. It will be in YouTube. But Wednesday onwards, I will not send any Zoom link to you. I will send this procedure to join from Wednesday. So please join by website. Okay. Yes, guys. See you on Wednesday then. See you on Wednesday. So if you want to open, if you want to install power center, suppose everyone is having power center in your system. Do you have power center in your system? If you don't have it, then you can you can search uh, Informatica installation by Raj Informatica. Informatica installation by Raj Informatica you can search. So this is the step by step uh, video. This is a step by step video. Okay. So to install, to install Informatica Power Center, you can download it. So I have given the download links also here. You can download it and you can install it, please. 
okay so and uh, there are many useful power center iics videos are there in my in my youtube channel in my youtube channel there are many power center and uh, iics power center and iics many useful videos are there please go through them and you can practice with that also there are many useful videos are there few oracle videos are there few unix videos also are there so you can watch all these things so if you are if you are having any installation issues if you are having any installation issues please whatsapp to my support number 81052968588 this is my official number raj informatica official number 81052968588 and uh, or you can call to 9113861544 so these two always whatsapp to the first number so please whatsapp to the first number okay and my team will help you if you are feeling any difficulty okay or you can ask in the group also you can ask in the group okay guys so see you on wednesday see you on wednesday yes please everyone see you on wednesday please respond so you can go through my rajinformatica.com website you can you can search rajinformatica in google you can search raj informatica in google so you will get my website so in the website i have given interview questions so there are interview questions available iic is interview questions you can search and you can read them i will be adding more sets so you can read them okay the interview questions i will be adding more sets under this section so there are many useful interview questions are there so you can you can watch it and you can easily you can easily get the job okay yes please if you want the course content course content also available in my website course content also available in my website you can download from my website okay yes please fine guys yeah so see you all see you on wednesday so before before you log off please subscribe my channel rajinformatica rajinformatica in youtube and please like comment my videos thank you all See you on Wednesday. Thanks, guys. See you all. Thanks. This is all about today's topic. I hope you got good information from my videos. For more information, please subscribe my channel, like and comment on my videos. Thank you. Thank you all.